Hi, you want new speakers in your living room. That's good. What kind of sound do you want to hear? Do you want to hear a big sound like a live rock concert or natural pleasant sound like you'd hear in a jazz club or a classical concert? Well, there are some speakers that give you the opposite oppression like being in a house music environment and they have a terrible almost shouting sound. You probably wouldn't want to bring those kind of speakers into your living room, would you? Well, there are a lot of speakers with really great reviews in audio magazines and it's hard to know which ones are the right ones for you. So if you go to a hi-fi store and audition those speakers with excellent reviews and sometimes you find out that you don't like them, you might find out that some speakers are fine for one kind of music but maybe not for another type. So why is it all so confusing? Well, let me give you a hint. Different types of speakers are used by different types of engineers and producers for almost every different type of music. In order to help you to understand, let's try a couple of scenarios. Try to imagine that you're drawing a picture while you're looking at a monitor. And if your monitor is a little too red, your drawing will be more red than your original drawing. So now if you look at that same too red drawing with a monitor that's a little too yellow, you'll end up seeing it's something very far away from that original drawing. Now the same applies to the relationship between speakers and sound because both the speakers in studios and living rooms have their own character and it's what you're hearing is a combination of those types of speakers. And there's another important thing that you need to know. When you get used to the sound of your speakers, you might forget about the sound character of that speaker that you've been listening to all this time and that becomes your reference. Once this happens, you tend to think that the sound of the music from your speakers is the genuine sound, but in reality it isn't. And this is always happening. It even happens to recording engineers and audio critics alike. So as a recording engineer, it's really best to listen carefully to the live sound that's in the studio rather than only listen to the sound that's coming from the speakers. You know, we try to record sound that's natural and not affected by our speakers. You know, it's just like having fresh ingredients delivered directly to the farm, straight to your home, and you prepare that delicious meal. Now, if you compare cooking to listening to music in your home, that same principle applies. You should be on the lookout for speakers that have too much character. And so, to get back to the food analogy, I'm sure you'll want to enjoy your fresh ingredients and not have too much salt and pepper and end up ruining the taste of your meal. So, if you listen to music, through natural sounding speakers, you should enjoy that true sound that was the intention of the musicians and the recording engineers who created your favorite music. Now at first glance, the Eclipse speaker's shape may look a little eccentric, but in fact it's made by 21st century technology that can help make a natural and clear sound. Oh, there, there's one more thing to know. When you compare Eclipse speakers to other speakers in your Hi-Fi store, at first you might not feel satisfied with the Eclipse sound. That is unless first you know really what true sound is. And if you settle in, you'll start to appreciate the Eclipse sound. That is the true sound. Thanks and happy listening.